This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys, I'm here with a review of the Bakugo cropped hoodie from Kigu Stop. So Kigu Stop is an online store that sells a lot of different like fandom related apparel. And so when I saw that they had this Bakugo hoodie, I was super excited and I just had to get it because it was so cute. So this hoodie was about $55 and came out to be about $67 after shipping and tax. So some of the items when you buy them off the shop are like pre-orders, so it can be a while until you get them. They only like batch ordered them at the end of each pre-sale, which I think is about a month long or so. I ordered mine in January and got mine towards the end of March. And my feelings about it after getting it are so so, so. Like I said before, I really love the design. I think it's super cute. This is how it looks. If I get the hood out of the way, here we go. And then the back has this really cool design. And uh, the sleeves are really cool. So the design overall, I really like it. I also really, really like the fit. However, I did get it in a size small. I normally wear like a medium and the small is still kind of big. I like the fit though, so I don't mind. But if somebody's like much smaller than me, it's going to be extra big on them. It's not super, super cropped like it is on some of the models that they have but I'm really short, so I kind of saw that coming because that's how it usually is with most crop tops, which is fine because I don't like super, super short crops. Anyways, this is just a heads up for people who are around my height and maybe they like shorter crops. It also has wider shoulders on it than my shoulders have. There's like an opening right here, and so this top part doesn't stick out really uh, on the model's photos. If I can find it, I'll insert it to show you, but on me, they come out about here. I'll throw it on in a second, so I don't know if that just means that have really narrow shoulders or what. I've always felt like I had really broad shoulders. However, again, it's not a real big deal for me. I don't mind it. I think it still looks cute. So this back design is it's not printed into the material like some prints are. I don't know how to describe it, but you know how you get some graphic tees and like the design is in the material. This is printed on top of it, which means it will probably eventually start to peel off. So I'm probably only going to hand wash this. Let me just throw this on real fast. Let me back up so you can see real fast. Here is my waist. I think on the model it sits just above it, like about like here. However, I like where things sit, like when they sit right here, so I'm okay with this length. The sleeves are also long on me, but again, that's okay. I think they're also supposed to be longer because they do have thumb holes, but again, they go past my thumbs when I have them just fully out. But this is something that I expected because, you know, I'm sure I'm used to things being too long. However, again, I said that it's not a problem for me because I like these fits. And I, maybe it's even supposed to fit like this because it is kind of like supposed to be like poofy sleeves and stuff. It's good, it's not a negative. It's just letting you guys know in case it's something you look for. This is what I meant though by the shoulders <laughs> hang off of my shoulders quite a bit more than it does on the model. And this is like, as tightly laced up as it can go and it still hangs off quite a bit. The hood is a good size. I like the hood. It's like not like one of these tight hoods. It's nice and ploof, ploof hood. It's a wide hood. I like wide hoods. The material is really nice by the way. It's like the normal kind of jacket and sweater material. So it's like what you expect it to be made out of. And it's sewn really well. Like everything is sewn on nicely. There's nothing like coming apart when it comes to like the stitching. This is the back. So yeah, so this is the jacket overall. I'm really happy with it. Now my only big issue, more of a disappointment, is I got this and I put it in a suitcase, you know, like just nightly, nicely packaged. Just taking this out of my suitcase, I noticed that one of the buttons was missing. Luckily I found it because it was in my suitcase, so I have the button here. I was looking at this sweater and I thought, oh no, my hot glue gun. Like, it must have, like, leaked on this, even though I thought, it, like, I bagged it and everything. Because it has hot glue right here, stuck to it. And I was like, no, it's, like, ruined. But then I realized that these buttons 
are just hot glued on and I'm kind of disappointed with that. Okay, not kind of, I am disappointed in that, that these are just hot glued on because they're actual buttons and they have the four little holes for you to sew them on. Be easy to take these, sew these on, sew these into place and then they'd actually be secure and couldn't just like rip off. Like if I wanted to, I could pull this one off without like even trying, like just lifting it like this, it's already starting to come off. So I'm gonna have to re-sew both of these buttons on. And now this is also kind of just like messy. If I'm traveling and it happens to get warm or it's warm in my car or it's warm in even my house because it's hot glue and hot glue doesn't take too much to get melty. I'm afraid that this might run, not go super far down, but it's definitely going to go out of the circle that is where the button goes. Like the hot glue is already kind of out of this circle definitely going to pop off at some point during your wear if you just want to wear this like daily which I thought was the point of this and that's why I got it I'm a little bit sad that for paying you know almost 70 bucks for a sweater the buttons couldn't be sewn on they had to be hot glued on when it's probably the easiest thing to do is just sew on a button it probably wasn't going to keep me from buying the sweater. I think it's just a little bit sucky that it's not sewn on. It seems rushed and I don't know why they would do that or who thought it was a good idea to hot glue anything onto something people are going to wear daily. But again, I like the overall design. It's not like I'm going to try to return it or anything and, and it wouldn't have been a deal breaker. Had I known that these were hot glued on beforehand, I would have sewn these on immediately. So so that I didn't almost lose this button. I'm going to hand sew these on because this is still an incredibly cute sweatshirt and probably my favorite piece of clothing ever. Again, overall, the overall quality for everything else is great. Like the sewing on it, on all the parts that are sewn are professional. It's well made, it's really nice. The fabric's really nice, the fit is really nice and true to size. The design is really great and really unique. I think it's definitely worth the money if they decide to sew these buttons on in the future or at least let their customers know that these are going to be hot glued on. I really like the sweater though so I'm happy with my purchase. Thanks for watching this video, have a lovely day and bye! People walk in the last second.